Okay, folks, this is NC4XL, North Carolina for Extreme Lovers. And this video is to help any 891 users to set their power for CW to the appropriate maximum, as I have cost myself because I didn't understand HF power to mean HF power. It's supposed to mean HF power CW from Yezu. I would love to send them the bill for not properly tagging it. So what I'm going to share with you is I burnt the core, tore it up in the NFED antenna because I had the radio set for 100 watts. But the only thing, the antenna was rated at 50 watts on CW. So this is to help you not make my mistake. Watch what I'm doing. I'm doing this one-handed. It's awkward, but I think it's important, so bear with me. This little button right there. Hold it in. Now, once you've got it held in, you're going to scroll down. And you're going to 1603, I think it is. Uh, maybe it's 603. And let's see what we get. 1603. I'm going down to 1603. You see the numbers up at the top. Okay, now. When we get to 1603. Whoops, I just passed it. Oh, it's fun doing this one-handed. You see where it says HF power? Press this button right here, the lower button. Press it. Whoops, wrong one. I didn't go up. All right, there. It's highlighted. Press it. I had it set for 100 watts. It doesn't say CW because I didn't read the manual. Hello, we're stupid. So, I'm helping you not burn up an antenna by operating CW, especially when you stay on it a while. I'm cranking this down to what my maximum rated ability is of the NFED, which is 50 watts. Once I got it there, I rotated that knob right there. I rotated it, press it again, now it's set. For HF AM, you see it's 40. If I wanted to change that, I can lower it. But the max that it's going to do is 40 watts on AM. On HF sideband, you see that right there? I highlighted it. Now, I can run this down to all you QRP people. 5 watts. Very simple. I don't do QRP, but if you're using the 891 and you want to do QRP, that's where you get it. You set it there, and then you press that button right there in the bottom again. And voila. So now what I did is just set the power output. I, I wish I knew off the top of my head to set the mic gain for myself because I've been experimenting with my radio, the 891, trying to get the uh, mic gain level that is good for my voice. And that's where it's different. Each one of us has a different characteristic about ourselves so as I'm making this real quick video I'm going to see if I can find it if not uh, maybe some other day I'll do a, another video I want to get this up because I don't want you to have to go ahead and spend some more money on another antenna and I'm getting ready to order another antenna because I've had a fellow ham help me uh, repair it and the thing is uh, we finally realized what the issue was. It's operator error. So, thank you for your time. I'm going to rotate this. I hope I got my mug in the picture and you understand it. This 891, FT891 uh, issue is because of the language, uh, as you've seen, HF power at 1603 does not indicate CW. And if you're like most of us hams, out of the box on the air and not in the book.
it was noted afterwards that through somebody else's video, wait a minute, wake up, and I did. And I went and looked at my radio, and I did. And now I know why I burnt up the uh, antenna, because I've been on CW every week uh, for about three, four weeks now, uh, anywhere from one to three hours continuous. So I was shoving a lot of RF through that torrid. I hope this helps you. Check out my other videos if you like. I do Parks on the Air, POTA, uh, a great little accessory to amateur radio. So, from NC4XL, November, Charlie, 4X-Ray, Lima, North Carolina, eh, for extreme lovers and not. This is just Dom, the darling old man. Hope it helps.